Good Sunday afternoon to you guys. This is Tyler and Hudson, and we are bringing you 643 Pack Wars number 15. Okay. Thanks to everyone for participating in this break. Uh, the way that this works is we do a Pack Wars tournament. We open up two boxes of Series 2 from 1718 and 1516. And uh, the way that it's going to work is we put out the names of all the participants and then they move on from one round to the next. Uh, you win a round if you have a Young Guns or better Trump card. If there are no Young Guns cards in the pack or no Trump cards, then the way that it works is it goes to the lowest numbered base card. Um, there are all the rules for you. I'll explain it as we go along as well. Here are the trump cards for you, starting with a regular Young Guns at the bottom. That is beaten by a memorabilia, autograph, or numbered card. Then there is a canvas card, um, and so on and so forth from the Young Guns. Um, in this break, we're going to start off with the wild card bracket that you see on your left side there. The way that this works is everyone has a chance to get a satellite chance in my uh, box breaks in my regular buy it now or auctions. We're going to randomize the list of the names three times. Whoever are the top four after three randomizations are going to get their way into this tournament for free. So let's go ahead and do that right now. What's up, Felix? Dad, can yep. I play Fortnite? Sure. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going to randomize it three times. Hudson will call off the top and the bottom. Woo! After one randomization, we have... B. Martin at the top, Mar Mario 4363 at bottom. All four cons at top, Sean at bottom. All right, so for our official order, we got the top four... Official. Let's go. Mario, Johnny Canuck, Bumble, B. Martin, and Johnny Canuck. All right, thank you, Hudson. So we're gonna put those guys' names into the wild card. Read them off for me one more time. Mario. Mario has wild Canuck. card one. Johnny Canuck three. B. B. Martin. All right, B. Martin. Congratulations to Bill. Johnny. And Johnny Canuck 3 once again. Brian is not in the chat with us. Usually he's a regular. Um, all right, so th that is the wild card bracket. What we're going to do next is we're going to spread out all of the um, hits, all the packs, I should say. Uh, in this wild card or in this tournament, um, we have two bonuses. We've got two bounty bonuses. The first person to get a Winnipeg Jets hit is going to get a free spot in a box of 16, 17 black. The first person to get a jersey or material hit is going to get two satellites into the next Pack Wars as well as the Tournament of Champions. In this Pack Wars, I should mention, Bummer Boy got both satellites. And so let's go ahead and open up these packs. Hudson's going to do 15-16 Series 2 on the east side. And Dad's going to do 17-18 um, um, Series 2 on the west side. Yeah. Do you want to put this in the garbage? I think we'll probably do uh, Series 2 from 1718 in the finals today. Yeah. Check out the 643 shirt that we've got on here. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, but it's a PJ shirt. Yeah. Here's some more garbage for you. You usually ask me to throw away the... Um, the box too, right? Uh, the box we always recycle. Alright, these extra two are going to be wild card packs. Hudson should have four extras. Don't throw Five. Them. Uh, there should be four. I think you're probably missing one at the bottom there. All right, those will also be wild card packs. Okay, so we're gonna shuffle up the names here. I'm here are the ones on these. all of the names for everyone who's participating in this break. So we'll shuffle them up so it's random. And me and me, Dad, and Felix had a really late night yesterday night. Yeah, so yesterday, where were we, Hudson? Um, at the Gold Eyes game. Um, Gold Eyes game. Um, and then 
um, like after the game with Rocky, um, we watched a movie. Yeah, so they had a movie for the kids on the Jumbotron after the game. Okay, awesome. so we're starting off on the east side. We've got Lennox Matt in spot number one Whoop. against Bummer Boy, the returning champion. Full time. Then we've got Johnny Canuck 3 against Thanks. Early One. Welcome back to the tournament, Early One. Welcome back. Then we've got Shane Dog. I hope Codfishy's back. Against Bummer Boy. Then we've got Subterfuge Mike against Lennox Matt. Then Johnny Canuck. Brian won this spot in the 643 roll call bonus, so that's a free spot for Brian. He won that in my auction break last week. Then Bummer Boy. Then we've got DJ Bass, welcome Daniel, against Bummer Boy as well. Then heading over to the west side, we've got Shane Dog. Shane Dog will be facing off against Bummer Boy. Sh Bummer Boy will then Mario 4363 then Cutfishy. against Bummer Boy. Wow, Bummer Boy's... Then Robin, congrats, or welcome back to the Breaks Bruins, good to oh, have you. Oh, he was there? Against DJ Bass. Then we've got Mario against a, a Pack Wars rookie, Super Omni. Welcome to the Pack Wars Super. Um, Dad. Just wait. What's then Mario4363 against Bruins once again. And then we've got Justin A. Pulled a huge hit for Justin uh, yesterday in SP Game Used. Nice Clayton Keller, 9 out of 9, true rookie autograph from SP Game Used. Which was 700? No, that was a different one. What's up? What was your question? Oh, um, what's a super rookie? Oh, a true rookie? Yeah. Um, that is a card that is the one rookie card of the set. All right, we're going to start. Hey, welcome here, Brian. Hi. Brian, you have two of the satellite chances in this tournament, so we're going to start off with the wild card bracket right here. Starting with Mario against Johnny Canuck. So, Mario, you're first. Mario's got himself a Antemi Pernarin OPG card. Johnny Canuck looking for a young guy to beat him. He's got a portrait of Winnipeg Jets Eric Comrie. First, so the Jets the Jets bounty the Jets bounty going to Johnny Canuck. For Already. Game. Congratulations to Brian. He gets the Jets bounty bonus of a free spot in a box of sixteen seventeen black. Johnny Canuck. There were no trump cards in here, so we're going to have to go to lowest numbered base card. First of all, for Mario, he's got a 264. 264 for Mario. Johnny Canuck has 274. Nothing lower than 264. So Mario gets the two hits, and he's on to the next round. Should also mention that if you um, win a round, you automatically lock in those hits. And never lose them. Johnny Canuck has a second chance here against B. Martin. Unless my dad's a bit too clumsy and forgets to take, <laughs> take, to, yeah. So Bill is first, and he's got a Martin Jones OPG card. So Johnny Canuck with a second chance here to try and get a Young Guns. And Johnny Canuck has an upper deck canvas of Thomas Placanic. But it's not a young gun. So we're going to go to lowest numbered base cards. Johnny has 326, 287, and a 259. That's going to be tough to beat. B. Martin looking to beat a 259. He has a 300 and a 251. He gets the lowest card in the set. Congratulations, Dad. Uh, Bill. Hopefully... Johnny Canuck has a little more luck in the actual bracket. But Dad, yep. I can't believe that um, when we pulled a two, we thought it was impossible for someone to beat it. But then we magically got a one. Yeah. So and next up, we've got Mario looking to punch his ticket into spot number 24. He's got an upper deck canvas of the flower, Mark andre Fleury. Ooh, yay. B. Martin needs a Young Guns. Haven't had one yet. Mm. He's got a Nikolai Ehlers, Winnipeg Jets rookie. Too late for that one. <laughs> B. Martin looking for another lowest numbered base card. He's got a 312. 312 is the lowest in this pack for B. Martin. Pretty easy to beat. 
We'll see if Mario can beat the 312. He does it right off the hop with a Ducks card, 254. That's the one he did it last time. So congratulations, Mario is on his way into the tournament. I should mention that the winner of this tournament, trying to knock Bummer Boy off his perch as, a, as the returning champions, the winner of the tournament gets to pick their own personal hobby box out of the following bounty of boxes. Whatever box you would like, you get to choose for yourself if you win the tournament. And Dad, do we open even if they're not in the chat? Uh, no, if they're not in the chat to tell us which one they want, then we uh, wait until we get their email. I hope All right. Bummer Boy wins. On the east side of the tournament, we're going to start at the top with Lennox Mac versus Bummer Boy. I'm checking out the chat. Matt was actually the first ever winner of a Pack Wars tournament. Here is Matt's pack, and he's got an OPG of Jordan Wheel. Next up is Bummer Boy, still haven't pulled the Young Guns. Bummer Boy's got a Jake Vertanen rookie upper deck portrait, so we're still waiting for our first Young Guns. We're going to have to go to lowest numbered base card, 304, 282, 271 for Jack. David Legwand, so Lennox Matt looking to beat a 271. He's got a 266 Tory Krug. So congratulations Matt, you've got the two hits and you're on to the next round. This is the time what I'll mention, if you don't make it past the first round, you automatically get a satellite into the next tournament. Yay. So Bummer Boy lost the round, but he's got a chance next week to get in for free. Woo. Plus he has a bunch more chances. Yeah, that's right. Next up, we've got Brian looking for his first tournament win in quite a few tries. So good luck, Brian. Here's our first Young Guns. It is Shea Theodore for the Anaheim Ducks. So Johnny Canuck gets it a Young Guns. Ducks. Early one. Needs to get a Young Guns or better to beat Brian. And he's got a base pack, unfortunately. All base for early one. So, er so Brian is going to move on with the young guns. Early one is going to get a satellite chance into the next tournament. Shane Dog against Bummer Boy. Second chance for Jack to move on. Shane Dog won the tournament a couple weeks ago. And then uh, he finished second last time to, to Subterfuge. And it's a young guns. And Shane Dog has a young guns of his hometown Vancouver Canucks. Alexander Grenier. Bummer Boy needs to answer with a Young Guns of his own. Or better. He's got a Brock McGinn Upper Deck Portrait. So Shane is on to the next round with his Young Guns of Grenier. Next up, we've got Subterfuge against Lennox Matt. Starting off with Mike. I think Mike has been as far as the semi-finals once. We got our Timmy Panarin for the Chicago Blackhawks for Mike. So he's hoping for lowest numbered base card unless Matt can get a Young Guns. Lennox Matt has a Chris Weidman rookie for the Ottawa Senators. So we're going to base cards here for Matt and Mike. There's a good one for Matt, 256 of Ryan Kessler. For the Anaheim Ducks. Yeah, when you get an Anaheim card, you know it's going to be a low one. So 256 for Matt. Mike trying to beat the 256. He does have an Anaheim card, so let's see which one that is. It is 257. One away for Mike. Unfortunately, he can't beat the 256 Ryan Kessler. Good job, Len. So Lennox Matt on to the next round. Subterfuge will get a satellite into the next tournament. Yeah. Next up, we've got Johnny Canuck's roll call spot against Bummer Boy. I'm hoping Lennox will win this time. You hear that, Matt? Hudson's pulling for you. Johnny Canuck has a Nicholas Patan rookie card. Like former Portland Winterhawk. Bummer Boy looking for his first spot in the next round. And he's got a Phil Kessel OPG card. Um, Lennox, if you would, would choose 
all and out of any of these boxes, which one would it be? All right, so Hudson's already looking for a prediction of which box Matt would like if he wins. Bummer Boy, going to lowest numbered base cards. We have a 316 and a 275. Evander Kane for Bummer Boy. Johnny Canuck looking to beat a 275. He's got a 298. A 280, a 277, so he can't quite do it. 275 gets Jack on to the next round. Congrats. Hudson, you're falling behind on base cards here. 1718 SPX. All right, so Matt Good is one. shooting for the SPX. Next up, we have DJ Base against Bummer Boy. Good one. So we'll start with Daniel. Daniel's got... A Young Guns of Adam Pellick. Oops. So for the New York Islanders, Adam Pellick for DJ Bass. Then for Bummer Boy in his pack, trying to match with the Young Guns card, he's got, oh, look at that, a Henrik Samuelson rookie materials jersey for the Arizona Coyotes. So that is going to be one of the rare cards that beats a Young Guns. Rare? Congratulations, Jack. Not only do you get your way to the next round, but you've you all also get uh, the Jersey Bounty. That's right. So Jack is going to get two satellite spots into the next Pack Wars tournament, as well as the Tournament of Champions. So I'm going to put that up there right away for Jack. I chose the box of 1718 Splendor. What is that? All right. Congratulations, Jack. Dad, what's the Splendor? We don't have any Splendor. I don't know what he's yeah. talking about. <laughs> okay, moving on to the west side. We've got the following participants over here. DJ Bass has another chance. We've got our rookie on this side, as well as two spots for Bruins 37. Ah, uh, choosing the box that isn't out yet. Starting off with Shane Dog. Hudson, you need to clean up this space over there, as well as this garbage. Shane Dogs got himself a marquee rookie of Nico Hersher. Nice hit there. We always have a Nico Hersher. Well, not on. It is just an OPG, so Bummer Boy could steal that card from Shane Dog if he can get a Young Guns here. Or better. Bummer Boy looks like he's got a Young Guns. It is Remy Eli. So Eli beats out the Hersher, and Jack moves on to the next round. Shane Dog has a chance on the other side, but unfortunately his run on the west side comes to an end. Next up we've got Mario against the Bummer Boy. Mario is first. And Mario has, nice, a Young Guns Upper Deck Canvas of Vili Huso. Trump card. That is a trump card, and that's going to be tough to beat. Bummer Boy is going to need a Young Guns Clear Gloss or a Young Guns uh, Acetate card. And he's got a Will Butcher Marquee Rookie. So two New Jersey Marquee Rookies in consecutive rounds. But Mario, you get the nice canvas Young Guns hit and you're on to the next round. Huts, you're not doing your job here, buddy. Next up. We've got Bruins against DJ Bass. Good luck, Robin. And if I fall asleep, it's not my fault. <laughs> Robin's got himself a marquee rookie of Alex Tuck for the Vegas Golden Knights. <sighs> DJ Bass looking for a Young Guns to move on to the next round. DJ Base has a Marcus Sorensen Upper Deck Portraits Rookie. So we're going to have to go to lowest number base cards between DJ Base and Bruins. We've got a 268 right off the hop and a 260 for Daniel. 257 for Daniel. Robin is looking to beat a 257. And he's got a 259, so he was two numbers away. But DJ Base is going to move on to the next round with those two hits. Bruins is going to get a satellite into the next tournament for free. Next up, we've got the rookie Super Omni against Mario4363. So Mario will go first. And Mario's got... Oh, look at that! 
It is an Upper Deck Portraits Gold, numbered out of 99, of Victor Mete for the Montreal Canadiens. So in order to beat that card, Super Omni is going to need either a autographed jersey or a numbered card, or some kind of special rook, uh, Young Guns that is not a regular Young gun. so we'll see what he can do. He has a marquee rookie of Alex de Brinket. But not a young gun. So unfortunately for the rookie, no beginner's luck this time. And Mario is going to move on to the next round with that nice Victor Mecke gold number to 99 card. Super Omni, sorry we couldn't move you along this time. But you're going to get a satellite chance into the next tournament, which will be next Saturday. Up next we've got Mario and another chance for Bruins 37. Mario, first of all, has got a Young Guns of Brendan Lemieux for the Winnipeg Jets. Too late again. Congratulations, Mario. That's yeah. a nice hit. Are they, is this the most Jets hits you've ever I had? I think so. We've had like four of them already. Next up is Bruins37 trying to match the Young Guns, and he's got a checklist and the Young Guns of Kevin Raw. Kevin Roy, Kevin Waugh. So we're going to have to go to lowest numbered young guns here in this pack. Between Bruins and Mario. Mario's young guns is 487. Ducks. Bruins young guns is 468. So congratulations to Bruins. You get both young guns hits and you move on to the next round. Next up we've got Justin and another chance for Mario coming out of the wild card bracket. So Justin first. Justin has himself a marquee rookie of Pierre Luc Dubois, third Dad, third overall pick. Remember yeah. when Mario was number one wild card and he won? That's actually? right. Mario won out of the wild card spot once. Mario's looks like he's got a young guns and it is a nice one. Nikita Sherbach. Young Guns rookie for the Montreal Canadiens. So Mario's wild card spot. Oh, Mario also has a rookie materials of Jesper Bratt. What a pack there for the wild card, Mario. And one's New Jersey. And Mario's going to move on to the next round, setting up our um, triple threat matches. The uh, quarterfinals are always triple threat between three different people. So we're going to start that over on the east side. Bummer Boy has a good chance against Lennox, but I bet Lennox will win. Starting over here, we've got Lennox Matt against Johnny Canuck against Shane Dog. So a couple of uh, Pack Wars veterans. I should say a trio of Pack Wars veterans. We're going to start with Lennox Matt. Good luck, Matt. Matt's got himself a Young Guns of David Musil for the Edmonton Oilers. Oh, look at that! We've also got a high gloss Young Guns of Peter Straka. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. It's over. It's over, man. Young Guns high gloss and a Young Guns in one pack. So congratulations to Lennox Matt. It's going to take a miracle here for Johnny or Shane to beat that. Plus it's numbered. Well, numbered out of 10, it's a high gloss, buddy. Those are super, super rare. Johnny Canuck, let's see what kind of hit card we're donating to Lennox Matt here. It is a Young Guns of Charles Houdon. But it can't beat it. And Shane Dog is going to donate a hit card as well. Can it beat it, Dad? And he's got a Young Guns, or sorry, an Upper Deck Canvas of Ryan McDonough. So this one goes to Lennox. Congratulations, Lennox Matt. Hudson's uh, prediction might be coming true here. Matt has another chance here to slay two chances for Bummer Boy. So we got Lennox Matt against Bummer Boy against Bummer what Boy. What if it's a Lennox, a Lennox showdown? Go see what Matt had to say in the chat about that uh, high gloss. Okay, um, not all, okay, but not all things, Matt is up first. He's got a Miko Ratten in Rookie. So Bummer Boy with the two chances here to advance. Okay, this is his last words. Sweet. <laughs> and then it's first. Bummer Boy has a Joel Edmondson St. Louis rookie. Not really bigger names usually come first. Bummer Boy has another chance here to knock off Lennox and Matt. 
And he has a Joel ha Noah Hannafin rookie upper deck portrait. So that means we're going to lowest numbered base cards. First of all, with Bummer Boy, he's got a 360, a 263. Connor Murphy. Bummer Boy again has a 264. And 263 is still lowest for Jack. So Lennox Matt, if he can beat a two. Do you think he can do it? I think so. We'll oh, see. Oh. If. If Matt can beat a 263, that means he's facing himself in the semifinal to automatically make it to the final. He's got a 268, and he can't do it. 268 is as low as it gets for Lennox Matt. So Bummer Boy off to the next off to the next round, and he's gonna face Matt the rematch in the semifinal. Off to the west side, we've got a triple threat match. On the bottom and on the top. Dad. On the top, we've got Bummer Boy against Mario against DJ Bass. What's up? Do you think Lennox can win? I don't know. We'll see. Bummer Boy is first. And Jack has himself a upper deck canvas of Corey Crawford. Next up is Mario 4363. Mario's got a OPG of Kevin Shattenkirk. So DJ Bass with a chance to move on if he can get a Young Guns card or better. And DJ Bass has a Upper Deck Portrait of Jake Dochin. So that means we're going to lowest numbered base again. D I'm really hoping Lennox Matt wins. DJ Bass is first. He's got a 368, a 330, 323, a 273. 273 is the lowest card for Daniel. Mario is next. And he's got a 281. And that's as low as it gets for Mario. So if Jack can beat a 273, he moves on to the semifinals. That's kind of used to say Jack. Yeah. So Jack's lowest card is a 350. 44, a 430, no, 344 is, 313 is the lowest for Jack. So that means that Daniel with a 273, fairly high card to move on to the next round, but he does it. Congratulations, Daniel, into the semifinals. There's some base cards for you, Hudson. Pick them up, bud. Next up, we've got Mario with two shots to take down Bruins, 37. Next up is Mario. Mario's got a upper deck canvas of Kelvin DeHaan and a Ducks hit, so that's going to be good if it goes to base cards. Bruins 37. Bruins has a upper deck canvas of Alex Ovechkin, the great eight. So two canvas cards so far. And Mario 4363 from the wild card. Pretty lucky before. Got a jersey and a second hit in the same pack. And in this one, he's got a Peter Kaleric, Young Guns rookie. So that means Mario moves on to the semifinals to face DJ Bass. Congratulations. The wild card spot is lucky once again. So we've got the final four, Lennox Matt, DJ Bass, Bummer Boy, and Mario. So let's see who can move on to the finals. Oh no, the final We're going to start on the east side. Lennox Matt against Bummer Boy. Both of them are live and in the chat. We're going to start with the champion Bummer Boy. Bummer Boy has a Young Guns of Tanner Kiro for the Chicago Blackhawks. That's going to be tough to beat for Matt. Let's see if he can do it. Matt needs a Young Guns or better. He's already got a high gloss out of this box, so I don't know if we're going to get a special Young Guns. He has a canvas of Brendan Gallagher for his Montreal Canadiens. So that means that Bummer Boy is on to the finals for the second week in a row. Congratulations, Jack. 
Mariola, his consolation prize is going to be a high gloss young guns. Probably. What would you choose? Next up, we're going to find his opponent. We've got Mario against DJ Mario. Bass. So Mario is first. Mario's got... Whoa! Upper Deck exclusives numbered out of 100 for the Vegas Golden Knights of Oscar Lindbergh. So DJ Bass is going to really have to pull something special here to try and beat that. He's going to need a Young Guns canvas or better. Let's see what he's got in his pack. Daniel ha already has a bunch of hits under his pile, but we'll see if he can somehow beat that exclusives. He's got a OPG rookie of Andreas Borgman. That means that Mario against Bummer Boy is going to be our final today. Bummer Boy, what box would you choose if you won? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, senores and senores do Brazil and UFC fans watching around the world, live from the sold-out HSBC Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It Mario against Bummer Boy. Let's see who can take home the crown today. The big fun. I hope Bummer Boy does because then we'll know. Um, um, he's gonna tell tell us. All right, we're gonna start with the challenger from the wild card spot. Mm -hmm. Mario is looking to win from the wild card spot for the second time. Let's see if he can do it. Bummer Boy is looking to become a five-time Pack Wars champion. First of all, for Mario, has a JT Comper Upper Deck Portraits card. Let's see. Bummer Boy needs a Young Guns to win. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Jack has a, a Young Guns card. Nick Merkley. Congratulations to Bummer Boy. You are the champion for the second week in a row for the Fifth time overall. Okay. Bummer Boy is our champion for Pack Wars Tournament number 15. Jack, let us know which of these boxes you would like to have open for you. Get me a towel, quick. <laughs> Any of these can be yours, Jack. Uh... He is live and in the chat. Okay, so which box are you taking? Oh, yeah, I know what he wants, the SPX. How do you know? <laughs> Hudson's predicting an SPX for Jack. Mm -hmm. And he is taking SPX. Would you like SPX from 1718 or 1516? I'm guessing he's going to go with his boy, Connor McDavid. Jack is a huge fan of the Oilers. I'll wait for his call and then we're going to open it for him. Is the SPX 15? So this is 1516. We also have 1718. I wonder. I think it's a pretty sure lock that he's going to go with 1516. Yeah. Waiting on the call from Jack. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> He's going with 1516, so let's open this up for him, Hudson. Oh, I'll get the knife. Thank you. Good luck, Jack. Can I cut? We've also got a free box of 1516 going on later tonight for my 5 plus team bonus. Can I do it? Thank you. And Jack was lucky enough to get his Oilers in that box. So he's got the Oilers. He's got two chances at a McDavid rookie tonight from 1516 SPX. All of this is yours, Jack. Yeah, so later on tonight we have the free box of 1516 SPX for the five plus team winners in the Teak 643 breaks. And tonight at auction we've got a box of 1718 Ultimate Collection. I'm excited to open my first box of Ultimate. 
So that'll be happening tonight. Can I do it with you? But for now, we've got Bummer Boys free box. So all of these hits going to Jack. We're starting with an Andreas Athanasiu, Detroit Red Wings level one rookie premier. Just signed a new deal with the Red Wings. Really? Next up for Jack, we've got a nice Jared McCann, Rookie Premier's Autograph. This is a level 2 card for the Vancouver Canucks. What's a level 2 and level 1, Dad? Well, the level 2s are just a little better. And Dad, what are these for? Yeah, they're just thick cards so that you can't pick out the, the thick packs at the card shop. Ooh, next up, look at this. We've got a very nice Rookie Auto Jersey of Kevin Fiala. For the Nashville Predators, dual jersey and an autograph. Dual. Nice hit there for Jack. Got two autographs in this box already. We do have an Oilers rookie. It is Anton Slepyshev. So SP. Not the one that Jack was hoping for, but the knight is still young. Plus we, plus, we have a couple more chances to pull him one. That's right. In this pack, we have a Joel Edmondson SPX rookie for the St. Louis Blues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And up next, we've got a Sam Bennett shift change for the Calgary Flames. Next pack, we've got a Nathan McKinnon shift change. This one is for the Colorado Avalanche. Three packs to go. For Jack's Pittsburgh Penguins, we've got Evgeny Malkin. Stick Wizards card. <laughs> Stick Wizards. I knew you'd like that. The Wizards of Sticks. Next up, we got another rookie. This is Chris Dreger for the Ottawa Senators. We have one more pack. Let's see if we can pull him a corner. Last pack for Jack. Hey, last pack, Jack. And he's got oh. a... Oh, look at that. Another Vancouver Canuck autograph. It is Hunter Shinquark, number level 2, numbered out of 399. What if there's a two, hit hiding behind this? Two Vancouver autographs in this box for Jack. Congratulations, buddy. A pretty good box. You're going to get another chance to pull a McDavid tonight when we do the 5-plus team bonus of 1516 Upper Deck SPX. Bye, guys! Thanks for participating in the break, you guys. Remember to check out the auctions for 1718 Ultimate. And uh, see you guys tonight. If you're interested in more Pack Wars, check out next Saturday. We're going to list another one. Have yourselves a great rest of your Sunday afternoon.